It is the 10th of the 11th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Days after the remote British Columbia archipelago of Haida Gwaii, GWAII, emerged virtually unscathed from Canada's second strongest earthquake. Locals discovered the shifting earth had mysteriously switched off a centuries-old hot spring considered sacred by the Haida. So they got some uh, geological movements going on. Several of these hot springs that have been around for a very long time have shut off. I believe uh, Warning 616 told us about this shortly after it happened. Edmonton Auto Body Shops uh, chaotic all day after massive snowfall. Edmonton police say roads are uh, faring better following the city's near record snowfall despite frigid overnight temperatures that left surfaces slick and icy. Maybe decades before contaminated groundwater sites are cleaned up. A new report from the National Research Council revealed that at least 126,000 sites across the United States have contaminated groundwater that requires uh, remediation. Approximately 10% of those sites are considered complex which means restoration efforts will likely be unsuccessful for 50 to 100 years due to technical limitations. The estimate cleanup cost ranges from $110 billion to $127 billion. However, the report states that both the number of the sites and the cost are likely underestimated. Twister or tornado rotating funnel spout seen in uh, Guernsey, and uh, my bad yesterday, I reported that was out of Tasmania, and that is uh, in the Baltic Sea up by um, Norway. Over to the extinction protocol, they've got a couple of stories. Peru, Peru rattled by 5.9 magnitude earthquake, the eighth tremor in a week, very active area there. Uh, they've got some uh, EU plagued by suicides uh, as deeper austerity measures enacted and economic woes worsen. Things are getting much worse in Europe uh, as the economy collapses around us all. Thousands converge in Australia for total solar eclipse November 13th and 14th, 2012. People from around the world are converging on the coast of northeast Australia. The attraction isn't the Great Barrier Reef just offshore or their surrounding rainforests full of wildlife and exotic plants. Uh, they're going to see a total eclipse of the sun. On the morning of November 14th, Australia time, about an hour after sunrise, the moon will pass directly in front of the sun. And it should be a heck of a show. Over to the RSOE, uh, got some things going on. Nuclear event out of Pennsylvania, Berwick. Um, one of their reactors down due to computer problems and they're not really quite sure uh, about what's going on there. Uh, another nuclear event in Romania. Uh, one of their reactors went down unexpectedly and they're not going to turn it back on until they figure out why. Uh, one of their two nuclear reactors shut itself off. Power outages reports coming out of uh, West Virginia, New Jersey, and New York, and of course after Hurricane Sandy, um, the disaster just compiles and compiles, and uh, there are ongoing crazy situations as we speak, and uh, we got some fresh power outages out of West Virginia um, due to the heavy snow and wet stuff. They're saying they've got thousands of uh, crews out trying to get this thing under control. Flash flooding in Haiti, uh, Nord region. Um, not uncommon. They've cut down all their trees. They get a lot of flash flooding there. Uh, and then what else? Where was that other one? Well, extreme weather out of the state of Utah, Utah-wide. Uh, this is that big winter storm, Brutus, um, that's rolling through. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Des Moines. Uh, 70 degrees. The motorcycles are out. Um, people are, you know, laughing and singing. But tomorrow's going to be a completely different day. Uh, cold, wet, and Brutus will be upon us here in Des Moines. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just go to E&E News. 
I'm really shocked. Growths on both young daughters' thyroids. I deeply regret making them stand outside for hours in high radiation. Now, these are parents out of Japan. Henry Kissinger. There's a name we haven't heard in a while. Linked think tank pressuring Japanese to keep nuclear power. GE, we bring good things to live in. TEPCO to try and remove steel debris on top of fuel racks and number three fuel pool. They have concern about the liner, as do we all. Uh, you got to remember number three is the one that really, really blew up big, uh, where the actual cloud looked like an atomic blast. Uh, TEPCO president will come clean your house in Fukushima. Yeah, right. Photos, smiling mascot asks Fukushima kids to gargle to stay safe from radiation. Radiation sparkles on happy children. Can you believe this? Officials sabotage at California's San Ofre nuclear power plant. Apparently they found some um, oil or some kind of liquid where it wasn't supposed to be. And uh, they think that if after the plant was already turned on and rolling, they said if they didn't discover this, the governor would have burned out on this unit kind of thing. Of course, no danger to the public. But uh, they're not quite sure what the heck's going on in San Ofre right now. And of course, the, the cracks found in the South Korean nuclear reactor reported on yesterday, um, where they have counterfeited credentials to their parts. So these things are not safety checked on all 23 of South Korea's reactors. Uh, they're definitely <coughs> under a big panic there as far as trying to figure out what's good and what's not. And if they're finding cracks in the faulty, shady stuff, uh, who knows. Finally tonight on ESSKF um, blog site, these people have been covering the Fukushima disaster since day one. I just wanted to cover one of the stories off of here. Hurricane Sandy Aftermath. New York considering putting displaced Staten Island residents in prison. Quote, I lost everything, but I still have my pride. We don't have to stay in a prison, said Wally uh, Martinez, 44, who's staying in a, in a retreat with his wife, two children, and dog. My brother was once in that very prison, and my mother used to visit him regularly. She used to tell me how miserable he looked and how filthy and disgusting that prison was. So this is off of, uh, from the New York Post. Residents displaced by Sandy are starting a life in Staten Island Jail. They want to go home, they want to go from no home to the big house. The state is eyeing the recently shuttered Arthur King Correctional Facility on Staten Island as a temporary home for the people displaced by the ravages of Sandy and this week's nasty nor'easter, officials said yesterday. And, of course, I will attach the link. The insanity continues, and this just goes to prove how desperate these people who have everything under control are. Um, they have no place to put these people. Power is still out. Um, well, Pollock, a well-known um, economy YouTuber here, is in Long Island, and he's talking about the difference between the, um, Haiti and the and uh, the Dominican Republic, as far as Long Island goes, the places with power and the places without power kind of thing. So definitely still, you know, nothing close to uh, being over with. <sighs> anyway, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.